and we're back with a channel update. Don't worry, there's no there's no real bad news or anything going on. It's everything's good. I just I, I feel like it's I should have got one of these out for for New Year's, but yeah, me and my time management again. I never really got around to it. Sorry about that. So this is a really belated channel update from say imagine like late December, early January, which I should have put out. Uh, first up though, I sort of want to celebrate the good times, so to speak. We've hit forty five thousand subscribers, which. Honestly, I had no idea that was a thing that was going to happen when I first started. I, I don't know. I'm Irish, and we have a hard time, you know, doing good celebratory stuff. It's like, it's like if you compliment an Irish woman on her dress, she's like, you know, it's nothing. I just picked it out or something like that, or it's something I threw together in five minutes. She probably spent two hours at it, but you know, she's she's going to play it down. All Irish people kind of play down things. We don't like to compliment each other. It's you know, our compliments usually revolve around insults, where we insult someone. That's how you let them know you like them. Yeah, it's not great. But so me and Siobhan were chatting one day and she was asking me, like, how how was I, I making pocket money out of YouTube? It just it, it couldn't compute for her that someone could play computer games and sort of make a little bit of cash out of doing it. So what I did was I explained to her that uh, on the at the time I was just I just picked up my phone and it's like the dashboard on it was telling me I had like 10 million, roughly 10 million watch minutes in the last 28 days. Um, oh, yeah. You get an app on your phone, like it's a dashboard for your YouTube channel, and uh, it shows it in watch minutes for some reason, your your watch time for the last 28 days. But if you have the the, the web page browser, it shows it in hours. I, I don't know why. But anyway, we'd, we'd hit about 10 million watch minutes. And of course, you know, 10 million it, watch minutes sounds like a huge number, but it's not really, you can't really wrap your head around that. But I do tutorials, so I just like grabbed out a quick calculator. The simplest way to wrap your head around things is to think of it in terms of stuff that you understand. So what we're going to do is break it down into uh, work weeks. So, for example, if you were to sit down in front of a PC and watch 40 hours of YouTube videos a week, you know, like basically your full-time job to watching YouTube, and you did that every week for four weeks, how many people watching 40 hours a week every week for four weeks would it take to watch 10 million watch minutes? And it turns out the number is 1,041. So I explained it as providing full-time entertainment, let's say, or 40 hours of entertainment per week for 1,041 people. And do you know what her next... Do you know what she said to me after that? She said, you're not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> Women, am I right? <laughs> Love you, sweetie. Love you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh... I think, I think we're currently at, what is it? Let me check my phone. Uh, currently, we've definitely gone above that. Uh, the, the channel has definitely done pretty well recently. And I don't know. I just wanted to sort of stop and thank everyone for watching and just sort of revel in it for a minute. Yes, at, at, we're currently at 14.6 million watch minutes, which is, my calculator tells me, 1,518 full-time entertainments. You know, full-time entertainments? No, I need a better word for that. Sadly enough, I thought about that for a few minutes. I still can't come up with a better term than full-time entertainments. Yep, yeah, if you've got better ones, let me know. I'll, I'll adapt it. If someone comes up with, the, with, a, with a better, more rhyming or catchier one, that, that'll be perfect. We'll adapt it. Yes, that's also mildly terrifying. Uh, to think that there's like 1,500, that's just, no, that's kind of scary. But also, you know, good, I suppose. Now, I wanted to thank everyone, but like, hmm, I don't know. Thanking people just sounds kind of trite and pointless, so I sort of want to explain the impact it's had and why I'm so thankful. Because the impact, I suppose, is the important part or the way it changes your perception of the world. Let me try and explain it. it it's hmm, This could take a minute. I need... Uh, okay, I've, ha I've had a couple of whiskeys and I think I, I think I can explain this now. I've tried twice already, but I, I still suck at it. So uh, here's, here's how it goes. People have a sort of, you have a sense of your self-worth. You don't know what it is uh, you, you, until it's actually pointed out to you, but normally it always comes back to your job. Your job seems to be one of those things everyone asks you about when they meet you. And uh, I've, my jobs have always been working for some company. I've worked for several companies. I mean, okay, I've, I've worked some random ones when I was backpacking. Like I've worked in a Kiwi packing factory, worked on farms, but most of my main jobs, the long-term ones, have all been office jobs. So I'm a network engineer by trade, I suppose, if you want to call it that way. But... Uh, all of those jobs, it didn't matter really what you did or how hard you worked, you still got the same paycheck at the end. Uh, that was the thing. So, YouTubing is weird in that the more the more time and effort you put in, the more you get back out of it. Whereas, in a job, you can work your ass off all day, night, all day and night, every night, for however long, and, you know, maybe you get a raise, maybe you don't, I don't know, it, it, it's not really consistent. 
Whereas YouTubing is, the more time and effort the m you put in, the more you get back from everyone. The more, you, the more happy comments you see, the better the feedback, the better the everything. And it, it's like a, a meritocracy, I suppose, is the closest I can come to describing it. But in, in, intrinsically, that's how you feel like the world should work. Like you should, like the more you put in, the more you should get out. It just, uh, I suppose a long time ago, I, I stopped thinking that way. I just thought a, a job's a job, you get the paycheck at the end and, that, and that's what you sign up for. And mm, I don't know, you... I, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, um, this whole experience has changed my perception of self-worth, the world in general, and how everything works. Now, how do you, like, if, if one person taught me that lesson and changed my view of the world that dramatically, well, I mean, I would definitely take him out, I'd, I'd like, get him a slap-up meal, I'd, I'd booze them up and take him out in the night in the town, you know, like, you'd, you'd thank him properly. But, uh, how do, how do you thank a thousands of people spread all across the globe being of different age groups and genders and all sorts of it, like how do you thank people for that like a, a, a simple thank you in a video doesn't really a ver thank you very much I mean <laughs> this so what I'm trying to say is from the bottom of my heart I would like to thank you all for changing my view of the world and me and everything in general it's uh, it's been very heartwarming for me but that that's enough that's enough warmth we don't need to get you know <laughs> Oh, oh, extra, extra special big thank yous to the Patreons. Uh, you people are crazy. No, seriously, it's, uh, uh I, 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 it confuses me how you're willing to support my hobbies this way. I have, I have, yeah, just a massive thank you. you Siobhan is even more confused. She just doesn't understand it all, though she has no problem, no problem at all with the whiskey that it brings in. Yeah, she's more than happy to, to, uh, to take part, to partake of that. Love you, sweetie. Uh, and, uh. Uh, yes, so a, a double, triple, extra special thank you to the lot of you. Y you're all crazy, and I love the lot of you. All right, that, that that's enough blubbing. That's enough blubbing. We'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll get on with the uh, th the channel update and, and go through, I suppose, what we're doing at the moment, which is ah, oxygen not included. The uh, the current playthrough is coming close to the end, I think. Yeah, we're we're getting to that point where we're going to be colonizing that lava planet, and I'm thinking after that we're probably going to move on to Dyson Sphere. Now I, I know this is uh, sort of moving away from Ani again, but I'm sort of running out of inspirations for Ani. Like, in one, oh, actually, in, in one series, one second, like, in this series here, we built this entire industrial sauna, and I mean, I wasn't the first person who put industrial saunas, I saw them in, uh, oh, in one of those, uh, base tours. So, the, one of the base living videos, and I nicked the idea, and then, you know, it, they've become very popular since then, but we sort of came up with this and had to discover how to use it and figure out how to get everything to work, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. Did we put an ethanol distiller in here? Maybe not this version. I don't know. Uh, okay, so petroleum boiler center. But then uh, we, we took all the dirt that was up here, and this was created artificially. That's like ten, one kilo dirt piles that we created by running uh, heated petroleum, I think, through it or something like that to create all of those dirt tiles so we could make an entire natural farm that was all planted by pips. That took a little time. Yeah, that definitely did. And then, uh, oh, and up here we have a leftover refinery. This was used to melt the Gravitas buildings. We didn't destroy the Gravitas buildings with, you know, uh, a mod or anything like that, no, no. We superheated steel in here, where is it? There's molten steel in here, and we use that molten steel to melt the statues, the furniture, everything. Everything here was melted using only in-game mechanics. That was pretty awesome. Also, as well as that, you'll notice we have all rockets across the top of the map. In fact, if you check the star map here, we have a rocket on a return journey to every single planetoid. Planetoid? Yeah, okay, we'll go with planetoid. All of them are doing return ships. Also, this uh, the fancy pants mobility tunnel is loaded up with rocket suits that all the ro the uh, the uh, well the rocket people could get in or the astronauts could get in. And down here, you will notice the absolutely gargantuan liquid oxygen and hydrogen production facilities necessary to fuel this absolutely ludicrous rocketry program. Uh, at the same time, where is it? Down here, you'll notice we are currently freezing the uh, freezing all the water at the bottom of the map. In fact. This was not water to start. This entire thing was magma when it first started off. Then we dropped a ocean on top of it. We dropped an entire salt ocean on top of it, boiled all the water on it, and then dug up the whole magma biome. Then we compressed all of that steam by building rock bricks in. Like, all the way through here, we just bricks were built all the way back. It took, I think, yeah, about 12 hours to do. And we compressed all the steam into one room. And once all the steam was in one room, we just strapped some turbo steam turbines on top to generate, like, it's the world's largest hot box. It was, uh... Yeah, that was one playthrough. That was just one playthrough we did back in the day. God, that was so much fun. But 
point being now, I think the, the most exciting thing we've done in the most recent playthrough is we're trying to colonize a lava planet, which, okay, I will admit that's that's pretty awesome. The, the entire planet's lava, and trying to colonize it is really tricky. But I sort of, I don't know, there's not the same amount of uh, unexplored things to do. So I think I need just to... Oh, I need them to. I need more content to come out before I can really get into and do some crazy stuff again because I think we've tapped into pretty much everything. Oh, I know it's kind of sad. I'm gonna miss oxygen unintuited. It's been it's been a huge part of my life for a long time now. But you gotta you gotta change with the times, I suppose. Actually, wait, no, that's the wrong expression. We'll we'll be back to oxygen unintuited. I trust Clay. The thing is, they. I remember when they first started out with oxygen unintuited. Like there was there was so many things missing. Uh, like ah, temperature sensors. Temperature sensors did not go above 300 degrees when I first started playing the game. Meaning, if you wanted to measure a temperature above 300 degrees, you couldn't. People had to come up with all these weird workarounds, like they would find, say, a liquid or, or a liquid that would turn into a gas at a certain temperature, and then they'd use a, a hydro sensor to detect the, the change, so that they could heat something up until the liquid turned to a gas, and they'd be like, okay, the sensor would detect that the liquid had turned into a gas, and it'd shut off whatever. It was there was so many ridiculous workarounds. There was no sweepy docks, there was no automation in place, like, oh, there was so many things. We didn't have droppers. Um, what is it, conveyor chutes? Where are they? Yeah, conveyor chutes didn't exist when I first started playing this game. They had to come up with these weird workarounds, to, or droppers were invented where you would power off an auto sweeper on a timer to make things drop. There was all sorts of crazy things, so I trust Clay will, will iron out all the kinks in the current DLC and make it more awesome. But um, we'll probably be replacing Ani in the schedule with Dyson Sphere because I am currently hugely addicted to that game. I think the big appeal of this right now is it's so new and you've no idea what you're in for or what's going to happen next. That's kind of the joy of this. Though there's one thing I wanted to test. Let's do this now. If a construction drone is away from you and you fly away, does the construction drone end up coming back to you or does it have to like follow you the whole way there until it catches up with you? I think it just teleports. Ah, oh, what a jip. I was thinking it would sort of get stuck out there. See, let me try that more testing. Oh wow, look, the drone's still coming back. It's trying to catch up with me. No, 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 you can't catch me. What you doing? So are you telling me I could fly to another planet and this thing would have to follow me? Okay, we, we gotta see if that's the case. If that's the case, that is just amazing. Well, one moment. Oh my God, it's still following me. I like, I, I got off the planet and came back and it's still following me. So you could theoretically just leave all your construction robots behind and never be able to build anything again. Uh. Let's see if we can make it so that it's impossible for us to build. Uh, you all go that way. Perfect. We are going to go this way. Yeah, whatever. And then we'll just sort of land down over here and have a quick look. See if we can, uh, if it's impo if it's possible for us to build now. Can you? No, no. We 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 totally can't build. What would happen if we were to like leave the planet and you can you can actually jet between planets in this? So you could leave this planet and then go to a completely different star system. Uh, w would the robots just keep slowly following you at like five meters per second? <laughs> uh, never mind. So the plan will be, we'll have a Dyson Sphere slot into Monday and Thursday. Uh, rumored is going to stay at uh, Tuesday and Friday. And then once, uh, I want to do one Dyson Sphere run through and then I'll probably play a little bit in the background, but I want to go back over to Factorio. There were, there were promises made on the things to do in Factorio. And uh, we'll see what the, the story is with Ani. I'm sure they'll bring out some updates in a while, but uh, we'll wait until there's a decent update and we'll before we go back to it. Anyway, I, uh, I, I, I started this with the intention not to ramble, and then, of course, I, I immediately started rambling. Uh, apologies for that. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck. <laughs>